What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey Kenshin here, and welcome back to the Crooked Man. Um, last episode, um, I died a lot of times. The Crooked Man is a resilient piece of work. Um, Sissy hurt her arm, and that was about it. I solved a couple puzzles, but now we're back into it. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Oh, it's a girl. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I am a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. Dang. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for both of us to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait! We can talk this out! Surely! Oh. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Dang. You guys ever been in a relationship and got broken up with? I have. It was not fun. It was over a text message too. But that's how high school relationships are sometimes. They're, they're so menial and trivial and, you know, who breaks up with people over text messages? That's, that's low, dude. But that's a story for another video. So now we are trying to what are we trying to do shouldn't i be getting out of here now like literally what else do i have to do i um how oh, my nose itches oh i got a brass key okay let's figure out what this is or what's that to anything oh a somewhere key i need to find out where this somewhere key is for this door Yes! Ooh, outside. What's going on in here? Something's in the fountain. <gasps> A box! Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Hey, Sissy. Got something for you. That's gonna make me a candidate for a boyfriend. Aww. Huh? Did Sissy leave? But she's wounded. No. <coughs> Sissy! What's going on? Where is she? What have you done with her, crooked man? Shouldn't I be able to follow the blood? really dislike this kind of crap. Where am I supposed to look for her? She in here? In here. This freaking music. Where is she? What have you done with her? I gotta go run around the entire house because I don't know what room her screen came from. Sissy! You freaking crooked man. Get away from her. Uh, uh. No! Stay away! I'll let this dude on fire. Make this dude falling down a pit. There's, there's no stopping this guy. Stop right there! Back off, monster! Oh yeah, I'm about to go beast mode on this thing. David! Uh-huh. Let's do this. 
Dang it! Sissy, get out of the hotel! David, what are you? I said run away! I'll take care of this! Oh, got my sink! Hey, monster! I don't know what the heck you are, but you don't lay a finger on Sissy! Oh, save. Second slot. This is perfect timing. Um. Oh, yes. Oh, this turned into a fighting game? Come on. Come on. Got you. How you like them apples, crooked man? <sighs> David. David. <sighs> David, are you okay? Yeah. I don't think it'll chase us, us anymore. Never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt, but... Sissy! What's wrong? Are you sick? What? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just didn't want to have my memory... Any, have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No. I hate it. Someone... Someone... Somebody help! Sissy... Please, don't cry. What's wrong with being a wimp? Yeah, what's wrong with being a wimp? You know, my girlfriend broke up with me because she thought I was a wimp, sorta. What's wrong with being a wimp? There's nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy. Haha. <laughs> for not being able to forget him, but... Is that such a bad thing? David! I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think, maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It's a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? <sighs> no, it did. I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open. So, though I didn't lock it. A key <gasps> for my apartment. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What? Really? Uh, I picked it up around here. A key for my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? I wonder why it's locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages. Which means he... I don't get it. But I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... Dang, no bye, just... <gasps> oh, this is so good! 
Oh, oh, this is so good, man. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love romance anime. Call me a wuss, call me what you like. But this, this is really good. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Mm. That surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. Why are you like on some like life mission to find this guy now? Hotel Ruinheim, sissy. End. Ah! This game is freaking good, man. Um. So, I had a thought. Crap, I lost my thought. Oh, right. I thought that the Crooked Man was um the guy that Sissy was going out with at first, but I guess that's not the case. Um, this game is really good. Right now, it's... um. See, when I think about Ib and Madfather, um, I think I like liked Ib a little bit more. Maybe because it was my first one. I don't know. Maybe I like the characters more, Ib and Gary. Um... Or maybe I just don't like Aya because she turned out to be a psychopath like her dad. But the Crooked Man so far is is really gaining my respect very quickly. So we'll save in Data Slot 2 and start our scene too. Man, this place was far. That almost took that took almost all day. So this is the place. Looks like this school was abandoned. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's take a look. Dude, it's nighttime, first of all. No one goes to school. Julia Stone Law School, set for dem demolition. No entry. Hey, this is the school from that leaf leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. Oh man, in some school now. Let's do this. Men's bathroom, woman's bathroom. Ah. Uh. Hey. Oh wait, never mind. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Okay. List of faculty, criminal law, John Keith, Andrew Robinson, Cindy Peterson, Franz Moore. A lot of names, a lot of names. Wait, was there something important on that last page? No, didn't see anything important. Alright, um... Oh, dude, this place is huge. There's upstairs, downstairs. The nameplate reads, Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Got a key to the infirmary. Um, I suppose that fire hydrant is going to be important later for some reason. Oh, this is one room? Okay, cool. Um, what? Was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Yeah, he was standing right in front of you, dude. How didn't you see that? Um, just trying to look for the infirmary right now. Or, or rooms, I mean. I lost the note with my security box password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. I should look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget. But that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Yeah. I've used like the same password for everything since like middle school, so. Michael's disser dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm just so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like I should just change it. 
Uh, whose diary is this, though? I, I don't know. So if we learn Michael's birthday, we learn the passcode. Okay. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. John's room. All right, well, we'll end it here, guys. We're getting a lot of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching uh, The Crooked Man. This game is good. And I hope you guys are listening to the um, tips that I give when I say, like, lights off, headphones on, uh, volume up, because... That's how you immerse yourself. That's how you get that blood flowing, you know? So um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.